Welcome everyone. In this series for the first person shooter, we're going to see how to implement different things for our game, such as the asset that we're going to have to import in our game that you can see here all around the world. So we're going to see how to do this. We're going to have our project setting where we put all the action that we can do for our game. We're going to have our main character, which is the first person character that's going to control various action for us. For example, picking up a weapon on the ground or dropping that weapon, firing our weapon, the, the health of that character, and so on. So we're going to see all those things, how to implement this. We're going to also have a pickup master for our items that's going to control all the basic need for our uh, items on the ground. For example, the health or ammunition. It's going to be all driven by this blueprint. We're going to also have a master weapon blueprint that's going to control everything for our weapon. For example, here, uh, the name that it the weapon has, the sound, the damage, the recall system, is it automatic or not, um, how much ammunition that we can carry and having in our, um, our weapon, and so on. So we're going to see how to control all the weapon in the game with only one blueprint. Um, we can have a master blueprint for our enemy as well. So all the functionality that our enemies are sharing, for example, uh, their health, the amount of damage and things like this. So this blueprint will do like the weapon blueprint will control all the basic need for our enemies. So we don't have to copy the same code over, over and over. We're going to have a game mode here. So this game mode will control basically everything that we want our game to do so when we start the game it's going to start the first wave and going to have this amount of zombies spawning in the level and when they're all dead it's going to spawn the next wave and so on until we win so we're going to see how to do this we're going to have some different sound in the game so we're going to have to control those sound by you by category for example music or, or special effect like you know explosion, gunfight, and things like this. We're gonna have the voices that we can also use if we want. Um, we're gonna have a physical material which is gonna control the amount of damage that we can do on the enemy. If you shoot the body, it's gonna be doing a certain amount of damage, and if you shoot the head, it's gonna do another damage. So we're going to see how to achieve that goal using a physical material. We are going to see how to implement what the player is able to see on the screen, the amount of waves we have done, how many zombies remaining, uh, our health, stamina, the weapon that we have in our hand, the amount of ammo we currently have in the weapon, and so on. So this will control everything that the player is able to see on the screen. We're going to touch a little bit on material, how to do a gluing material and other things so we can achieve different goal for our game. So if I go back here, if you see those, you know, little ammunition here on the ground are flashing. So we're going to see how to, to do this. Um, we're going to have an option menu which going to control, you know, what I was speaking a little bit earlier, uh, the voice, the special effect, the music, so the player can decide how much volume they want for each of those. We're going to have the graphics so they can change the quality of uh, their graphic for the game, depending on the hardware that they have, the resolution they can play the game on. So there's a lot to cover. Um, so we're going to see how to do that one episode by one and I'm gonna try to do episode very slowly so there's uh, not too many problems to follow along and we're gonna probably have more things as the project evolve but I think by the end of that uh, you should have a playable game that you can enjoy and uh, yes so let's see uh, all of you in the first episode of this new series.